Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about the exciting topic of shape versus form in 3D art. All right. So this is something that is frequently confusing to students. So we need to practice. Even I find myself using the wrong terminology because this is considered a shape. It's flat. It's the shape of a triangle. This is the form of a pyramid. It's not a triangle. It has height, width, and depth. So it's not called a shape. It's called a form. It's called a shape. It's flat. That means it might be something like a square drawn on a piece of paper that is flat a rectangle, a circle, a triangle, or even an organic freeform image. These are all shapes. They're all flat. It, that's something that was drawn or painted on a surface. It's flat like a cookie. It's a shape. All right. A basic form is when something like a circle got made into three dimensions with height, width, and depth. Let's talk about how to make some basic form. Okay, for today's exercise, you're gonna use a scissors, a piece of paper, and you can use some tape if you have it, but you don't need it. All right. For today's exercise, I'm gonna take a sheet, of new, a sheet of paper, and I'm gonna fold this edge a little bit over, a little bit over the red line. A little bit over that. There I go. You can see this edge of the paper goes a little further over than the red line. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. We don't have to be perfect. We are just trying to make a quick cube. I'm going to cut along my folding line. There we go. Boom. Now I'm going to cut along my red line. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep the middle sheet of paper and I don't need these anymore. Now I'm going to take my sheet of paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to take this and fold it in half one more time. I'm going to see if it looks like a square. Does it look like a square? If it looks a little bit too much like a rectangle, I'll just cut a little off until it looks like a perfect square. Just eyeball it. Doesn't need to be perfect. That looks like a square to me. The reason we have, might have to adjust it is that different people have different kinds of paper. Okay, I'm going to fold on my fold lines to where I have it coming together like a little box. Okay. And now I'm going to take this top edge and put a tiny, 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 tiny ridge in it. Or I can also just use tape if I want to. You can see I got a tiny ridge in that piece of paper. Tiny, tiny. And I'm going to fold this guy so it wants to be a very basic sort of cube. Now I've taken something that was 2D flat, a flat rectangle shape, and I have bent it into a three-dimensional form called a cube. This is now a very simple rudimentary cube. All right, let's make the next one. Shape of a flat rectangle, and I'm gonna make it into a cylinder. A cylinder is like the shape of a can or a, a rolling pin. All right, here we go. Just take a good old flat piece of paper, and you can run it over a tabletop. Run it over your tabletop and push on the paper lightly, and you're going to get it to bend. You're going to lightly put pressure on it as you drag it along the corner of the table, and you're going to get it to bend a little. And then you're going to tuck it into what we call a cylinder. This is a cylinder. You can put a little tape on there, but you do not have to. You have now taken a two-dimensional rectangle piece of paper, a 2D flat shape, 
and you've made it into a three-dimensional cylinder, which is a form. All right, let's talk about um, what if I want to make a rectangle form? What I'll do is I'll take a good old sheet of paper, just gonna bend it in half, gonna bend it in half again, okay? I have my sheet of paper like this. Once again, just like that cube, I'm now going to bend this into a long rectangle. I could tape this edge if I want to, or I could bend a tiny little edge on it so it captures the other side. Maybe I'll just bend the edge on it. I'm just bending up the tiniest bit. It's like as small as a grain of rice. All right, but all that is is just gonna be a lip to hold my little form together. This is now a form called a cuboid, which is a rectangle that has become 3D, a cuboid. Okay, after that, we're gonna talk about what about taking a flat shape of a, of a flat shape and turning it into a three-dimensional uh, form called an organic form, or it can be called free form? Well, all you do is just crumple it up a little. You've taken something like a flat shape, and now you've got something with height, width, and depth. It's three dimensions, and it's called organic or free form. That's an organic shape. What if I want to do something that it is called a sphere? A sphere looks like a circle, but it's actually a form. A circle is flat, but if I take a piece of paper, crumple it up, and roll it like crazy, I'll get something very close to what we call a sphere. A sphere is like a tennis ball or a baseball, okay? So that would be my, my interpretation of a sphere. A sphere is three dimensions, height, whoops, <laughs> height, width, and depth. If I want to, I could take a little tape and tie it up a little bit, but you don't have to. I'll understand if you're going for a sphere. So for today's assignment, you're going to build some forms. You're gonna take a picture of them. You're going to go into the Google Drive and have a look at that video under the virtual classroom and the video is called uh, How to Turn in an Image. So you'll take a picture of the things you build, you will label them and you will turn in that photograph. I also wanted to tell you about the form of a pyramid. Here's a flat shape of a triangle. Here's a form called a pyramid. I want you guys to try and build this. You, you might like origami and you might not. It's okay, I'm not gonna grade you, you know, badly if you don't get this. But it's really fun to learn how to build. And I'm going to include a video at the bottom of the assignment for you to try to build the pyramid. It's an origami video, it's pretty simple. And that's on YouTube. All right, so let me show you what you should have for today's assignment. All right, you're gonna have one sheet of paper telling me about basic shapes, which are flat, 2D, something that looks like this. Please try to build all of these forms. Build a cylinder form, build a cube form, a free form or organic form, a cuboid form, and a sphere. Also, give a shot to building the pyramid. I will be attaching a link to how to make a simple origami pyramid and give that one a try. When, when you have them finished and labeled and they look very similar to this, you will uh, send me that image into the Google Classroom as your assignment. You can see the tutorial on how to turn in an image uh, in the Google Classroom, please make sure to follow that way of turning in an image. Thanks very much. Thanks guys, have fun. 
Don't get too stressed out or serious about it. It's just fun. It's learning the difference between flat shape and three-dimensional form. So, thanks.